G'day mate, welcome to Captain Industry with me, Jiddy. Today, today we have um, a tiny project. A tiny project we need to take care of. We all also need to do something about glass smelting and, you know, we'll, we'll fix up copper smelting at the same time. Just small things like that. But the first minor project is going to lead to a big change around here. Um, yeah, so uh, at the same time, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys, what, episode 26? Episode 26, you guys are amazing. You're loving the series, loving the videos. And at the same time, I need to give a big shout out. Big shout out and a big thank you to All Day Hyper Dude, who hopefully is not going to be too hyperactive as he comes through and drives this dump truck for pretty much forever, continuously dumping stuff into the sea. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be doing that for a while. Uh, but first off, I need to find out what the hell is the story with that. Oh, I don't need an alert for that. Uh, yeah, we needed a spot to dump extra sulfur into the network because um, yeah, we started getting backed up with sulfur with all the all the all the exhaust harvesting we're doing. But we do have one more problem, um, and that is this guy. The tree harvester has no trees. He's all tree harvested out. He has um gone and seen to this side of the island and um, cleaned it up. And we're not quite at the Brazilian stage yet. We're, we're, we're very, very close. There's this one little patch in here that we seem to have forgotten. Um, mainly because the trees are hanging out and they're hiding up the side of a mountain. But the good news is we're slowly bringing them down to our level, at which point Mr. Tree Harvester can get in there and get in some last bit of action and take care of things. We also don't need these two anymore, so we'll delete those. That way the wood doesn't end up on the wrong side of the map. And hopefully Mr. Tree Harvester takes care of that problem. We also have this problem, which is one I'm completely ignoring because nobody's bringing it over here. Uh, we're completely ignoring because I've paused glass. Glass has been turned off because we need to upgrade the glass furnace this episode. But before I do that, there's one little thing I want to look at. Um, and that is this research here. The mega vehicles. The mega vehicles, which unlocked a new building and a new product. The new building and the new product is a um, slightly upgraded vehicles depot. Uh, just just a little bit bigger. Uh, buildings for vehicles, it's it's this one. Um, it's just slightly bigger than the original one. But that's because it makes slightly bigger trucks. Um, we do have room for an extra 20 trucks. So I figured, you know what? Uh, we should probably size up and scale up and have some really big trucks. Yep, so we need to plan out how to make uh, the new parts required for the new mega excavator, along with the new haul truck, which comes in two different varieties, the liquid carrying variety and the normal carrying variety. We're going to go with a couple of normal ones. I don't think we need to move that many liquids around the map. All right, so to do that, we need a bunch of assemblers, and I'm going to need an assembler one with two assembler twos, uh, because we need to make vehicle parts number one at a rate of six, because I need to consume vehicle parts one at a rate of six to make vehicle parts two, to consume vehicle parts two at a rate of six to make vehicle parts three. It also requires electronics too, which is something we don't have access to. We don't have no idea how to build them. Um, they're still locked up in the tech tree entirely, but that's okay because we can go out and we can trade some of our value construction, construction part three, which I have 1700 of, for some electronics, which sounds like a great deal. On top of that, Mr. Shippy Ship occasionally finds them. Speaking of Mr. Shippy Ship, uh, go say hi to that one, because you never know what it'll bring back. All right, so we need to automate this. Um, I need to make sure that we feed vehicle part three in here. At the same time, we also want to feed in, obviously, some diesel and some rubber. And in the case of the Mega Excavator, I also need to feed in steel. So we have a couple of things I need to add to this system. Uh, we're going to start with storage. I'm going to start with a fluid storage three, which we're going to crank right there with the tiniest pipe in the world. Because it sort of makes sense. Uh, as for vehicle, vehicle parts one, uh, we're going to pop you there. We're going to do everything. I'm not going to automate any of this. I don't see the point. Uh, we just don't need to automate well, off the main assembly to make these things. We, we make so few of them that we'll just have storages and we'll have the trucks move things across. Uh, we found rubber, copper, and vehicle parts. Cool. Go say hi to whatever's there. Oh, there's a... A coal mine. Okay, we can't argue with that. All right. 
So you're going to be, um, let's go with iron, you're going to be mechanical parts, and you're going to be electronics. Because they're the three things we need for that one. After we have the three things for that one, we need to go into vehicle assembly number two, which we're going to put uh, here. Here. Yes. Here, 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 here. Yes, uh, I'm going to bring a belt around here. That's our vehicle parts number one. On top of that, we also need to bring in steel and we need to bring in glass. So obviously, I need another storage box. We're going to put this right here and this will be our glass. Mm, can we make that a little bit less wiggly? Cool, done. Uh, and then, of course, we need steel. Now, my figure as we need steel for this and we need steel for the next step, we'll put steel right about here. Mm, yes, right about here. And we might as well put steel straight into the, the vehicle assembly building as well to make the big excavators. And what do we find this time? Uh, rubber and coal. Uh, rubber and coal pop. Okay. So we're going to bring steel in here. And we're also going to wrap steel up into there. Okay, so that's our vehicle parts too. Which we need to have a storage for. Um, I don't really need to store them, so to speak. I just need a way to dump the 821 vehicle part 1 into the system. And after we start scrapping, because we're going to start scrapping eventually, the trucks level 2, we need a way to insert those back into the system. I have no idea why these never left the system, but they didn't. So, uh, we need a... Oh, I need a little bit of a special belt to go here to here. It's a little bit special. Don't shame it. Uh, and then we're going to need this assembly to go... Um, good question. Let's go with here. Here. Yeah, one extra top. Uh, one extra top. Uh, because I also need to bring in... No, I need to store the parts. Yes, we need to store the parts. So we're going to bring in... Vehicle parts number one, we're going to output, I uh, don't no, vehicle parts two to output vehicle parts three to then tag that in there. Uh, you, well, you're going to make the vehicle parts three, which will go in here. You also need electronics. Electronics we're going to put, well, right here because you only need one input. Uh, and then this leaves me all this room in here to do, well, the only other thing we needed was rubber to make big tires. 120 rubber to hit, which means very, very big tires. So we're going to put a storage here with a simple belt to go there to there. And that's going to be our rubber. Which leaves me, well, a nice little build. It also leaves me the tiniest bit of room right here. Which, in theory, as we're going to have diesel right here, it sort of makes sense to have a fuel station. Oh, it helps if I don't press the wrong button. Uh, building for vehicles, a fuel station right you know, there. Because trucks can get in and access all these containers. They may not be able to access... Well, actually, we might go back to a cursed belt. Uh, yeah. They should be able to get in here to be able to physically put vehicle parts 1 into this system. Um, you know what? Actually, we'll go one step better. We'll actually put a storage box right here to import vehicle parts 1. And that means I don't have to have a little cursed belt in there. We can just have a normal belt. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's going to be the plan. Um, now I just need to work out where to put this. I want to have access to diesel, obviously. That's pretty much about it. So we can put this absolutely anywhere on the map. Uh, ship is fully repaired. Let's go send Mr. Shippy Shippy out to 430. 430. Our battle score is like 210. Uh, a uranium mine. Sure, let's go have a battle over a uranium mine. Um... So, yeah, I just need to work out where we're going to put this. Yeah, I don't want to have it up on this plateau because, as you can see, we're planning on leveling out this plateau. We need to remove the giant wood storage. I could put it over here, but this is sort of like farms and housing. Not really the best spot and also definitely no access to diesel. I could put it over here where we have oil, but it's pretty cramped over here already. I'm thinking if we put this, like, you know, right here for argument's sake... We could probably plug off this diesel pipe that's right here and bring that straight in the storage container. At the same time, if I move you forward one tile uh, and plug that into there, we could probably take rubber from right here around. Uh, I don't need you to be any closer. 
and into here and under here very sneakily and then over that and into there just as an option as an option as a thought in fact actually we could probably if we don't need to physically put rubber in this box anymore we could even go as far as moving this to probably there and bring the rubber belt in there instead which means trucks could potentially ride straight up against this and just pick up their diesel directly from this tank rather than from the petrol station not that it makes any difference um so that's what i'm thinking after i work out oh my god so i told them to just take a little layer off and of course they did that from inside the mine rather than outside the mine uh oh because i paused the other depot okay well in that case uh location explored we found more electronics too that's what we're talking about and we discovered nuclear energy which is gonna not at all cause any problems uh 260 410 that's one ship i can't beat one ship with a higher battle score than what we have because ours is 210 okay so i'm thinking i'm pretty happy with this build we're just gonna you know instant the whole thing uh, which means I need to set you to do iron because that's going to go into another recipe's got copied. Uh, machine parts one to machine parts two to machine parts three. Uh, so iron plus we're going to need uh, mechanical parts plus we're going to need electronics. Now I know I could convert the iron straight into uh, electronics. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? <sighs> what a honking building. And I do love that it has a, a digger, a couple of tiny little oil barrels, some old tires off some old vehicles, and um, a new one out the back. I do love... Oh, and flammable. Flammable. Slightly flammable. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so we need to bring in mechanical parts, iron, and electronics. Uh, which is then going to run into this one. I'm going to actually turn you uh, off. Yes. Because this one we're going to bring in vehicle parts number one. And we're just going to set you to full. Uh, this one is glass. Which is probably going to be a bit of a problem. Because technically I've turned off glass. Uh, you're going to be vehicle parts number two. Which we're going to turn off. You're going to be steel. Which shouldn't be an issue. And again we're going to just set... Well, I don't want the max. I just want them mostly empty. Uh, mostly full. Uh, mostly full. Mostly full. You, we want maxed. You, we want mostly full. Uh, this is going to be vehicle parts number two, which also means, very quickly, uh, obviously we do not need uh, this anymore. And I don't need this warehouse that is full of vehicle parts two, nor do I need this belt or do I need this one that's full of vehicle parts one? Uh, yeah, we can turn that off for a little while. So we're just going to get rid of the old building entirely because now we have a wonderful big, big new one. Uh, also means that now you exist. We can recover. Uh, can I move you there and move you there so you're both confused? We're going to recover you. We're going to recover you. We're going to recover you. And we're going to recover you, which means... Oh, Look at them go. Look at them. There's even stuff in here. There's stuff in here. The other ones were empty. Okay. Uh, continuing on the list. We have vehicle parts one, glass, steel, vehicle parts two, which we're going to set to look, keep you as full as possible. Can I have an alert? Tell me if you're empty. Also, same applies to you. Can you tell me when you're empty? Uh, that's going to come into... Oh, no. This one's going to be our electronics two which we're going to ask to keep full, and that's going to be our vehicle parts three. Now, obviously, um, it's going to be a little while. It's going to be a little while before we can get a, a digger out or an excavator out or something out because they cost 120 parts, and these cost 240. So it's going to be a hot minute uh, considering we make six at a time, but we'll get there eventually. What can't you reach? Rubber. What are you trying to bring rubber to? No, no. That's the, This is why you can't reach it. It has no import and no export. It's good. It's good as is. 
All right, so we're just going to have to wait a while for this to stack up with parts. We have parts, uh, vehicle parts one. We have vehicle parts two. It's just going to take a while to, you know, chew through everything. Uh, mind control tower. The guys up on the hill are all done again. Fine. You guys can go off and eat more of the hill. Uh, actually, can I get you to do that tile across? And we'll even get you guys to start skimming off this section as well. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna just lower the whole level by you know a little bit okay uh all right so that solves that problem we now have a nice vehicle depot we have lots of mechanical parts there's a whole bunch in here that we'll have to deal with and this will disappear i love it i love it we've cleared up some space also means as these guys slowly dig their way across the map it means that you know it's one less thing that we're gonna have to relocate temporarily okay so next project is glass so glass is well dead uh i need to remove glass okay um we can do an in place upgrade like i can put one of these and it'll just go straight over the top or we could just click the upgrade button but there's a number of changes that i need to do at the same time um which is going to make it slightly not an easy upgrade to do also at the same time we got access to the glass making number two up here with a brand new building being the glass maker mark two which um has a slightly different footprint just just a tiny bit of a different footprint so we are going to obviously have to remove this water pipe that's going to be in our way we're going to have to remove some of this belt that's going to be in our way we're going to remove the box we're going to remove all of this we're going to remove everything there we're going to remove you uh we're going to need to remove probably the slag belt uh definitely the coal belt uh i want to remove all of these belts i want to remove this belt and this belt and there's a balancer stuck in there somewhere which i also need to remove because although we'd plan to bring in broken glass perfectly it turns out there's a separate issue and that is broken glass is actually right here so it makes no sense to bring it in from what's now the left hand side we would bring it in from the right hand side uh, so we're going to throw some unit problem, making everything go away, including the one floating belt. Okay, yeah. So, uh, first thing we're going to need to do is you make 48 glass mix. You consume 48 glass mix, which is great. Can somebody empty this, please? Yeah, there to there. Go. Excavator can't reach what destination? You also got jammed. There you go. You're fixed. Okay. Back to glass building. I, I need this emptied, guys. Anybody? Uh, yeah? Yeah? No? No? Maybe? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so, we have glass mix. Okay. I need two of these guys because they make 48 apiece and I now have two of them, which means, well, two smelters. Which means I'm going to need two lots of 48 worth of glass mix. We'll, we'll talk about recycled glass in a second. Uh, which also means... Can I cut that? And we're going to put you... Good question, JD. Uh, let's go with there. And there. Uh, okay. Um, we're going to also need... Under transports, I'm going to need a U-shaped balancer, which we're going to put about here, I hope. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, which means I need to bring in that glass mix and that glass mix. Um, I also, as far as glass mix is concerned, I need 48 sand. We probably have 48 sand right here. That, I don't think, is going to be too much of an issue. Uh, is that enough belts? No. We'll just put that there and then I'll copy all those and put those in there and drag out that. Okay, uh, 48 cent. That shouldn't be a problem. It just means this bucket's going to have to be serviced more often. Uh, 48 cent twice. Yep. 12 limestone twice. 24 limestone should be okay. 12 salt. Well, that's a whole different story because um, you only make 12 salt. So we need to reinvent the salt engine. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we need to do that. Uh, we also need to remove you, you, and you. 
and everybody's happy now. Okay, so we need to glass mix into here and glass mix into here. Uh, we're gonna bring in recycling from this side. Uh, uh, let's just assume it goes in from there. We don't know exactly from where, but it'll be a priority in from that side and that'll be that problem. Okay, next up we need to bring in coal. So we have the coal belt. Uh, yeah, coal belt please, coal belt. Uh, I want you to be at height one and come right across the top. And we're going to bring in coal here, and I'm going to bring in coal here. And then we have the slag belt, which we've dealt with slag before. It is at height two. It's going to go to about here. And we will just bring slag out from the front. Come on. I have the U, uh, the R turn on, which means I can't click to get connectors and then magically work which is really frustrating because it's one of the nice features of the game, but I live R mode on all the time. Uh, okay, those two. That's pretty much it. Uh, we don't need the coal belt to go any further because I can't see us extending this because this makes 48 molten glass. 48 molten glass doesn't sound like a lot until you actually go to the glass mixy, the glass, 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 the glass maker um, with its slightly longer elongated footprint uh we go one there and we go one there and there and now do i want to move everything over by tile i don't know i'll get back to you um this takes in 48 molten glass and converts into 72 glass the original one took in 24 and converted 24 with some bonus slag way more efficient way more efficient also way more power hungry we went from 80 kilowatts to 200 kilowatts a piece uh slide everything over by tile sure you never know when that particular tile is going to be an important tile uh can i grab the coal belt and it's just going to plug in there instead which means that gets removed and slag we can remove that little section and you are going to go to there and go to there okay which means that gets removed and that gets removed. Okay, uh, next up, let's put a storage at the front. I still have too much belt hanging out because uh, this is way longer. All right, uh, storage, 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 storage. We want a unit storage. We're pretty much on big boy toys now. So we're gonna put a unit storage right there. Uh, can you all fit? Okay, so you're gonna go over by a tile. Storage is gonna go over by a tile. You're gonna go over by a tile. And then we're going to have a straight shot from here to here and a straight shot from here to here. We also want to deal with exhaust, okay? Um, it's something we've been doing as we've been doing these upgrades. We've been making sure we're dealing with exhaust. Now, exhaust is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to take this exhaust and we put it on that pipe, take that exhaust and put it on that pipe, and then we're going to put it into a exhaust scrubber. That's going to be easy. There's two catches with an exhaust scrubber. Uh, one is me having it in the right orientation. One is it's going to output some steam. We need to find out what to do with the steam. We also are going to have some sulfur. The six sulfur, I'm pretty sure we can find someone who would like to have six sulfur. Uh, yep. And the other catch is it presses 180 exhaust. These guys output 36 exhaust each if they're doing, you know, Raw materials, raw materials, not recyclables, raw materials. At 36 exhaust, it means I can fit exactly five smelters onto one exhaust scrubber. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. But if they're doing recycled materials, they only need to use 30 exhaust, which means I could fit six of them. So as long as everybody runs recycled materials, we're set. Not everybody's going to run recycled materials. All the time constantly so we're gonna have a problem we need to sort out i don't know how we're gonna sort it out but we need to sort it out all right next on our list is salt 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 or exhaust uh salt or exhaust um let's deal with the exhaust yes okay so we're gonna bring uh no not that tile this tile we're bringing down a ground level uh, okay, no, we're not going to bring you down to ground level. We're going to put you right there. Okay, so we know the exhaust scrubber is going to bring in the exhaust there. We also know that this pipe also needs to be hooked into uh, this smelter, this smelter, 
this smelter and this smelter. This is all a truck no drive zone anymore. You know, we, we sort of ruined that a long time ago. Uh, and that means we can have a level one pipe all the way through here, plugging into this level one pipe with, uh, nope, transports, small pipe, uh, there to there, there to there, there to there, and you to, well, technically, you to there. Cool. So that's all the exhaust done, uh, which is going to come to here. And then we need to get in water. Water, we thankfully have a water pipe right here. I do need to alter the water pipe because we're going to have to put in a pipe balancer somewhere. Uh, we also need to get water back into this. So we're going to start with water back into this. And you're at height two. Yes, height two from there. Uh, it says no. Can I make it say yes? Can I make you say yes? I could if the glass smelter was moved over by a top, but I don't want to make it move it over by a top. Uh, can I now force you to say yes? Yes, I can. And then we're just going to plug that back on there. Yeah. Okay. It's like it was never changed. All right. Which means I need you to come down to ground level. Okay. I need you to come down here and also have a pipe balancer. Uh, truck cannot reach destination. Tree harvester has no trees. Oh, look, I found you a new tree. Uh, oh, and another new tree. And truck, you're jammed good. Don't do that. Okay. Back to this. All right. We need a glass to come, a glass, water, uh, to come in here. Okay. So you are going to be a, well, you're an out and an in. But I also need you to bring water into here. Yep. We're also going to have to uh, convert the steam. Now, I have a couple of choices when it comes to steam. I can convert the steam directly into water with a cooling tower, uh, which is a great idea. That's a perfect idea. We can just whack that on there. Done. Costs two people, it turns out. No maintenance. Done. Easy. Dusted. Our other option is we can put it through a thermal desalinator because you're outputting 24 low pressure steam. 24 low pressure steam, I could run into, oops, please stop it, into this recipe. I could get back 24 clean water twice. So I could get 48 clean water as you use 24 water, plus you and you use another 24 water. It means the whole water pipe there all the way back to, well here, only has a drawer of 12 water on it, which is sort of what I prefer to do. The brine, we just dump back in the sea. Uh, but we also have one more problem, that is salt. I don't have enough salt. Now, as for brine, if I had 24 brine, I could get 12 salt in one of these ponds. I don't have 24 brine. I have 18. So I could run one of these ponds and get a little bit of the brine converted into salt. And then still have to run one of these probably uh that's six salt yeah it has to still one run one of these to give us the extra salt that we'd need to bring us up to 24 per machine oh no it's 12 per machine hang on which recipe so we're doing seawater to we're doing right here we're doing seawater directly to bright uh to, to salt i could run seawater to salt and get six salt and also run brine to get 12 salt which is a little bit short but if we add it to the six we'd be okay ish and then use whatever's left over to do the third machine so i'd need three evaporator ponds that sounds like a giant pain in the butt or i just have two heated ponds we just accept the power cost and we just get the two lots of 12 uh, salt we need from brine. That sounds like a better idea. Okay, so we're gonna need to have two of these to get salt. Uh, we're gonna go with one, two. It means I need to bring seawater in here. I also need to bring seawater into this. The clean water, we're gonna just loop around and the brine, we're just gonna throw back in the sea. Okay, with me so far? So we need a seawater pump. Uh, we're gonna put you, I'm assuming, right about here. Uh, I think that lines up. Uh, we're going to go with pipes. 
pipe mark two we're gonna bring that into there uh oh and that into there you are gonna have the recipe of seawater to salt uh multiplied by two uh you are gonna have seawater come in to there which is then gonna go a straight shot to there so off by top Yep, I can't put you further out to sea. Okay, so that's going to give us our two lots of salt. Okay, 12 salt apiece, which is enough to run both of these guys. Perfectly happy. Everything to a ratio. On top of that, we need to bring out steam to two of these guys, uh, which... Oh, wrong button. Uh, which is going to go... Let's put steam on the bottom. Uh, so let's pick these guys up, slide them over... Yeah, they'll do. Uh, so we're going to run steam into you and steam into you. I think I need one more tile. I'm not sure. Um, and then we can run seawater into you, whoop, into you and into you. Okay. So that's our two lots of seawater. Uh, you, we're going to do nothing with. Okay. So then our clean water, we're going to bring out our clean water. Uh, we're going to go out three tiles and then that way out three tiles and then that way and this clean water is going to come over here and needs to plug into there we'll get to that uh we need to just deal with the exhaust very very quickly which is a big fat smokestack we're going to throw on there as for our sulfur yep yep we're going to come over here we're going to then go flat and are the inputs on the far side well we're going to go right way around the back it seems and plug in there. Or do I want to rotate it? Uh, whoop. I don't want the last bit of belt. Everything else I'm happy with. Okay. Uh, we're going to delete that and delete. Uh, yes. Delete that as well. Uh, okay. They'll empty that eventually. Okay. So that's sulfur dealt with, which then means back to our clean water. It's going to go to here and to here which means you are our priority in we need to make sure the clean water is disposed of uh as for the brine itself it's going to come up it's going to come across and out this way you join into that pipe and then we just need a liquid dump which we're going to put how close can i put you not that close that close okay uh liquid dump pipe uh to here to here uh back upon yourself across to here and across to here because i also need a bridge haven't built the bridge yet uh let's put the bridge there all right that leaves our salt our salt is currently being stored over here we will actually if i go salt belt down what's the first place we get that's the first tile we can get to. Uh, sure. All right. Uh, our salt storage will go here. Uh, okay. Turns out it's going to go there. Uh, you need to be toggled direction, and you're going to go into there. Salt one into here. Salt two into there. That's our salt. Um, salt. Okay. So that's salt. Uh, we do have to toggle the direction on that belt, along with that belt, along with that belt, because uh, we're going to bring in salt from the right rather than the left. It also means that this salt belt goes away. It also means that salt container goes away, as does all of that. Uh, have I forgotten anything? I feel like I've forgotten something. I don't know what it is. Uh, glass recycling. Okay, glass recycling is our last belt which is over here. We're going to bring you out. We're going to bring you along at ground level. That way we can put a bridge over things should we need to. Up to height two and uh, close. Uh, let's just leave you there and let's remove things here. And you're going to come down to there. Okay. That seems to be everything. Even better if that container's gone away. It has. We want storage. We want to lose storage. You're nope, you're gonna go here. Oh, I can delete one more tile. Okay, let's delete one more tile. 
Uh, you're going to go there. We're going to bring this belt. Yep. In and around. And you're done. Alright, so we're going to just start unity things over and over and over. Uh, nope, there's one thing I definitely forgot. One thing I forgot. And it could come back and haunt us. Uh, you need all that. You need all that. Uh, you're set for the salt, right? Yes. Are you being built? You are. Okay. Mix that has no recipe. Uh, copy recipe. Uh, you are prioritized in. Excellent. Uh, I need to finish the belt being made before we upgrade it. Okay. These, if they're running the broken glass recipe, need 72 broken glass. So we need to technically upgrade both these belts. Uh, we also need to upgrade this belt. And when this finishes being built, yeah, we need to upgrade this belt as well. Uh, turns out there's a tiny bit in there that I missed, which we need to... Yep. Okay, so they're all running. They're all running. Uh, you have water again. You do. We're bringing in water in the system. We're dumping out the carbon dioxide. Great. Now, the one thing I did forget, which is probably important, is a balancer. I need one more pipe balancer. Um, can I get that pipe balancer and shove you here, I hope? Okay. Uh, remove. Because I do need to run the exhaust through a balancer. I know. It's weird. I don't believe it either. But technically, if everything's running at the same time, I need to be able to vent the excess exhaust. I can't put it in a tank. Otherwise, I would. Exhaust is hot. Tanks are made out of plastic. They melt. So, what we need to do is we need to priority out the exhaust out here into this guy. If for whatever reason. If for whatever reason I happen to have everything running at the same time. Probably won't happen. Uh, that's the point where we can dump the excess exhaust out. Why the hell are you running? You shouldn't be running... You ran once. Okay. Filter's been set now. You should be fine. All right. Also means the glass... Uh, no. Let's just remove all of... All of that. And we can... Put in a... Building for vehicles. A ramp small. Right about... Let's go with here. I might want a medium ramp, but we'll change that in the future and we'll remove that much as well that's probably enough uh, that that and that and will you connect you will okay so that's a glass look back up also more importantly we're now making 72 glass 72 glass which is 144 glass goes through the magic box off of the belts we could afford to do research at the same time as making household goods uh, you guys are scraping the ground here. You're done. You can now come this way instead. Great. Uh, tree harvester. Look, you've been nice. I'll let you have one last tree. Because that's all you're going to get for this episode. Uh, household goods. Because we had no glass. Uh, yes. The glass is now fixed. It's now hooked back up. It has the recycled glass running on a 200 belt, which is probably overkill, uh, as we made 46 last month. But, you know, it should be fine. Oh, we made 82 iron. Do you have an alert if 75% full? Yeah, that could be just because we bulk processed a lot because the system was off. That's what I'm going to assume. Okay, uh, you have recipe, you have recipe, we're both good. Ooh, you're running, you're running, uh, you guys are running on the recycled recipe, it's at the top priority, so it means it'll run that recipe first. You're short on coal, really? You're actually short on coal? Or, hang on, you're using 15, or you're using 60 by the time we get to here. Okay, it's one of those belt not fast enough anymore. Uh, I need to make it past the first two smelters with upgraded belt, and then we should be fine. Yep. Okay, so that's glass done, and at the same time, we also have 
281 parts and one of these guys costs 240. I think I know what we're doing for next episode. Anyway, uh, this is where we're going to have to call it. I'm pretty happy with everything apart from the five minutes months food supply. But that's just down to running double food. We should probably turn that off. That'll probably fix that problem. Yeah. I'm going to call this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. We will... Oh. We will remember to plug in the diesel uh, before we make anything. And this is also definitely where I'm going to call this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. We're going to do one more thing. This diesel pipe. We're going to toggle. Yep. That'll empty that container. Uh, truck import off. And can I have an alert when you're empty? That'll do me. All right. That's it. We're out. Thank you guys so much for, wa so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right. Bye.